And joining us this morning is U.S. Congressman Lloyd Doggett here. Some very important, timely issues. One of the big ones we've been talking about, a nuclear deal with Iran on the horizon, 10 days away from the deadline. Congress has promised to give the Obama administration a little bit of time. Republicans are in the middle of this. You've just been to the White House to talk about this. Tell us where you stand on the issue, kind of where you're at on it. Well, I think it's, there's really not a bigger issue in Washington right now. This is about the security of every family here in Central Texas and throughout America. You know, Iran is uh, larger than Iraq and Afghanistan put together, where we lost thousands of troops. If we can find a way, not based on trusting the Iranians, but based on intrusive verification to ensure they don't have a nuclear weapons program, that's a much better way than launching another military action. And so we, we're about to face a vote over the next few weeks in Congress over essentially whether we will interfere and lead to war with Iran. I think that would be a horrible course, would make it more likely that our families would be endangered. So I'm really eager to see a successful conclusion to these negotiations uh, so that we can contain the Iranians uh, but not engage in war. And those who, you know, like uh, Mr. Netanyahu came here, this is not a, a personality. There may be some personality conflict, but this is not about personalities. This is about safety and security of Texas families and American families. And his approach offers no alternative but military action, and that won't get us where we need to be. I mean, this has turned very political, and Republicans say this won't hold up once Obama leaves office. What do well, you say to that? Well, uh, it is accurate to say that the next president will have the responsibility of ensuring enforcement and ensuring that the Iranians are not developing a nuclear weapon. Under this new uh, inspection regime, we will be following what happens in Iran from the time uranium is mined until the time that any production occurs of devices that could be used weapons to monitoring the nuclear weapons. We already know more now with the agreement that we have, the interim agreement, than we did before, and we will know more each year through these inspections. That's a better course than launching a military attack. The letter to which uh, you make reference of uh, Republican senators telling uh, the Iranians don't believe President Obama uh, is amazing and is a first, I think, in American diplomacy. But we can't let that stand in the way. We need to proceed with these negotiations. If we can achieve a reasonable agreement, every family here will be safer. Uh, and we certainly need to avoid another military conflict. The last ones haven't, the ones that are ongoing, haven't come out so well.